This is Mordechai Tversky reporting from Jerusalem. Odessa, Cherkasy, Kharkov. Just three of some 2,000 Ukrainian towns, cities, and villages, some decimated, others completely destroyed, and where more than a million and a half Jews were murdered during the Holocaust. Only 25 to 30 percent of the identities of these Jews are known today. But a Ukrainian archive of 3,000 names recently transferred to Yad Vashem in Jerusalem is expected to shed new light. The joint partnership with the Jewish Council of Ukraine is part of Yad Vashem's ambitious Shoah Victims Names Recovery Project. Boris Mavtsir, manager of the project in the former Soviet Union, says that in 1941, when the Germans invaded the FSU, they kept only numbers, not names. In Babi Yar, in 29th September 41, uh, was killed 33,771 Jews, according to the Nazis' lists. But on the next day, all documents was burned. Because names, it was not important for Nazis. And for 50 years, neither did the Soviet Union. It wasn't until the 1990s that the search for evidence there began in earnest. Since the project in the FSU began nearly three years ago, tens of thousands of names have been collected from local Ukrainian archives, records, and monuments. Even thousands more are coming in on these questionnaires collected from Israeli immigrants from Ukraine. Maftir is a filmmaker by profession, but he considers himself more of a fisherman looking for clues. He says this project in the FSU is a first. That is the first time in previous Soviet Union, except Latvia, but it's a different story, when we go to some place, some region, and check all information together. According to Yad Vashem officials, every bit of information is critical. So the pages of testimony, especially these that now have come in with photos, really help us help us complete the picture as much as possible as to what happened in the Ukraine, what happened to the Jews in those areas, and adds another dimension to our understanding. Materials will find their way to this room, the venerated Hall of Names at Yad Vashem, filling these empty shelves and enabling future generations to take a closer look at a hidden past. This is Mordechai Tversky reporting from Jerusalem.